a pastor and slavery. He talks about how slaves or the enslaved were set free. Here it is. 150 years ago or 200 years ago when the blacks were slaves. Okay, let's just stop right here. Anytime you hear a white person in 2023 say the blacks, you know we're in trouble. Hold on, y'all, it gets worse. Slaves. Did they ever go to Washington, D.C. and have a rally 200 years ago to protest against slavery? Did they? No. Now, anybody say no, you need to watch out. So, ladies and gents and all of my distinguished friends, let me introduce you to Pastor Slavery from the United Confederacy Congregation. I don't know if that's the real name of his church, but that's all of the vibes and the energy he's giving. It's very clear that this man, before there was a ban on our history in textbooks all over the country, because these school boards are losing their minds, people like Pastor Slavery are clearly rewriting history and didn't need any help from said textbooks being snatched from classrooms all over the country. Let's see what he says next. That's wrong. What did they do? Well, a lot of good people in the plantations. Were a lot of good people in the plantations. Now, here's the problem. First of all, let's go back to what he said initially. Did they protest in D.C.? Perhaps not, but there were folks who were involved in uprisings, uprisings and in revolts. There were people who were coming together every year until emancipation to come up with a political agenda that would ensure what? Abolition. Probably a word that pastor slavery is not too familiar with. Say, hey, it's winter time. Let's ha- let us help build a church for you, dear folks. And they loved them and taught them how to read so they can read the Bible. I love me some Angela Rye. I wanted to put that on the record intentionally. There's more <laughs> video, here it is. Here's what the blacks did about 150 years ago. They humbled themselves, they prayed, they sought God's face and they turned from their wicked ways and God. Uh, let me tell you about the wicked ways they turned from, slavery. That's the wicked ways they turned from. In fact, they were God inspired to understand that they were not supposed to be held captive by another human being, despite pastors like pastor slavery here, wanting to impress upon them, brainwash them, that the ways in which Christianity serves them is if they serve their masters. They actually use scripture to make this point. But pastor slavery doesn't in here. Pastor slavery is the kind of pastor you get when there's a stated diet of white privilege, white Jesus, and White House cocaine. All right, the guy actually has a claim to fame. Uh, in response, in a response video with facts that shut down a white Texas pastor's false claims of enslaved people being freed by nice plantation owners because they failed to go to Washington, D.C. and protest slavery. Rye, a popular social media influencer, broadcaster, commentator, who was known for being a social justice advocate, is host of the podcast On One with Angela Rye. It's on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. She does a remarkable job. Let me put the picture up because you may know at least one of them before today. Much of the attention surrounding the good Reverend Keller, Pastor Keller has to do with him being the father of Anna Duggar, who starred in the TLC reality series, 19 Kids and Counting. When the show was put on pause in 2015, after Anna's husband, Josh, was accused of sexual inappropriateness when he was a minor. In 2022, Josh was sentenced to more than 12 years in in prison, okay? So there it is, Um, I don't even wanna ask what he believes about sexual inappropriateness against minors. I don't even wanna know what his statement is on record. Here's the thing, (laughs) the reason why this is important to highlight and to also rebut is because he has a following. His following believes what he says, as a matter of fact, there are many who actually believe what that preacher, so-called preacher just said, 
is the gospel true? So it is up to us to correct the historical narrative and help people understand how silly it all is, what he just put out there. Please keep in mind, enslaving people is evil, evil. I don't care what law a man wrote or what constitution provides cover, it is evil. And if you belong to a church who will teach that somehow enslaving another human being is permissible and righteous, how about you sign your children up to be enslaved? Or how about yourself? Of course, you would never do such a thing. Jeff, thoughts? Yeah, we need to push back against this because even me as a content creator, whenever I talk about slavery, I'm either told I need to move on from it or let it go because it didn't happen to me. Shout out again to Angela Rice, she is so dope. I wanna talk about the wicked ways they turned from slavery and the ways in which they turned from it. The Stono Rebellion, the Louisiana Rebellion, Nat Turner's taking over, the raid on Harper's Ferry, not to mention the thousands of black Union soldiers who fought for their own freedom, nearly freeing themselves in the Civil War. It's amazing how he skimmed over all of that and nobody in that audience and nobody on social media who looks like him is going to jump to that and say, please stop talking about this because you don't know what you're talking about. This is gross. Exactly, and many of those uprisings we don't know about because there was a coordinated effort to limit that information going beyond the local or, or, or the local plantation where it happened. 